Hey there, in this video this is just going to quickly show you how to georeference um, i.e. you've got a raster and you want to um, position it in the, um, in the in the world, in the real world. So I've got this Orbis map background, so actually I'm going to I'm going to position georeference a raster on top of an existing raster, but it could be vectors, could be anything. Uh, I've just got this 3857 um, projection, this EPSG, and uh, that's what I'm going to map on. Like I said, it's uh, Orbis. Um, so to get started, you go to the raster option and you'll see georeferencer. I'm using Zurich, QGIS Zurich. And then, then what you can do, I'll just pan that across, um, is add your uh, raster. So I open and what, what I'm going to go for is I've got some um, uh, the last glacial maximum uh, map, which is uh, quite interesting. It's the um, uh, it's the uh, last glacial period um, that ice sheets were at their greatest extent. It's the Scotese um, map um, from uh, uh, scotese.com, the Paleo map um, data set. So it um, comes from that website, scotese.com. Um, so as you can see, we've got this, this sort of raster that floats nowhere but we can clearly see it's of the world. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use Africa to um, to map against. So the idea being that I'm going to reference points, coordinates, create ground control points, GCPs, um, you know, from this raster that's currently floating nowhere, um, you know, against here, uh, which is a real world. So these are real world um, sort of locations, shall we say. Um, I could type in coordinates when I do this, but I, I uh, and could look them up to make it a lot more accurate. But I'm just going to click and add points from the map canvas. So I'll show you what I mean. Firstly, I'll just check the settings. Um, I'm just going to do a sort of straight line, uh, linear um, uh, sort of shift transformation. And uh, there's a, it's, it, I'm ending up in 3857. There's various other things. We, we're going to create a raster here, so you know we can compress it. And uh, I am going to save the control points. Um, I'll create a world file, and um, I can set transparency if I want. But at the end of the day, I'm, I'm going to load QGIS. So there's a few options here. Have a play. Um, and I'm going to load QGIS when I'm done. Okay. So that they're the sort of defaults I've used before. So I just left it really. Um, so I'm going to do this relatively quickly. Um, but as you'll see, I can you know spend a lot more on this, getting getting a lot more accurate. But like I said, I'm really focusing on Africa rather than uh, the, the, the whole world. So um, so let's just click somewhere. Um, let's click on that there. I could type in coordinates, don't know them, so I'm going to select from the map canvas and that was just above there. And then press OK. So you can see I get a red dot. Nearest dam is that one. Yes, I can I can zoom in and really shift it around and get a more sort of, you know, accurate um, uh, view. But I'm just going to leave it at that for the moment. But you can see the coordinates, and there's a sort of um, idea of the errors that, that, that may be there. But the um, uh, but it's it's looking fine to me. I'm, I'm, I don't have a problem. Like I said, I'm just going to zoom through this and click a load of points. Let's go up there, Gibraltar, Gibraltar area, and then just click there. Press OK. Let's go to there. Map on canvas. That's in, sort of in there somewhere. Um, but as you can see, I'm, I'm very much just um, manually clicking. I could zoom in, I could spend lots of time doing this, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm literally just, uh, uh, let's get that Madagascan point there. It's just off there. And then, um, uh, so you can see that shifted a bit, that one. Uh, and then let's do, what is that? Right there. Uh, and so I'll do that down there. It wasn't particularly accurate, but it, it doesn't matter. That's that's not the point. So I've clicked these these red dots around um, here. I could have lots more, and indeed I could go head north, head south, east and west to make those aspects of the map more accurate. So what's going to happen is going to be very centered and um, as accurate as I've made it here on Africa. But the rest of the world isn't going to be particularly great because I'm not going to be stretching, you know, up north, for example. So UK is definitely going to be, you know, that's far away enough to be somewhat out of sync. Um, when, you, when you're done with all that, you can literally just press go, which is this start georeferencing. 
So I press go and then bang, it appears in QGIS window. So let's just, um, uh, let's close this for a second. I will save the points that I've made, those control points, because I can use them another time. So I'll just leave it as the default filing. Um, but you can see how now it's um, clearly zoomed in on Africa. If I just turn off my raster, you see how it's right on top. Africa is, uh, Spain's pretty good as well, Saudi. Um, and you know, just from setting quite a few control points and the more, you know, you can perhaps do too many sometimes, but that's that's pretty good. So um, just cancel that. Uh, so I can just set transparency a bit. Uh, let's knock it down a bit. Something like that. And then we should see the place names underneath. So you see how that's now coming from the Orbis raster underneath. So that's the Orbis raster. And that's my so it's, it's and that's my georeference map. But you see how it's actually created a um, a TIFF. Um, so let's just uh, move sort of north, and you'll see what see what I meant by you know I was really focusing on Africa, only doing those GCPs, those ground control points around Africa. So all this was was highly in error, as you can see. UK shifted out. Um, and actually you can see that was the last ice age there, this, this map. Um, and, uh, and I'm sure as we head over here it'll distort and it does. So, um, but, but like, like I said, that's a quick, um, quick view. I hope that's useful. And the points file that it creates um, just looks like this. It's just a um, text file and um, it will be saved and you can reload it and edit it and uh, do what you like. Um, you know, at a later time uh, as needed. But there you go. So it's raster georeferencer. It's built in and you add the um, uh, raster in here. Just one final thing to show about this is uh, you see this rotation at the bottom of the screen here. As I click that, I can rotate. If that's needed, you know, if you've got something got like a plan or something, um, then uh, you may need to do that. But just literally just doing that, you can rotate the image, very straightforward. I hope you find that useful, thanks.